Welcome everyone to the V8 Supercar official online series, proudly presented by V8 Supercar's fan group, V8 Online Superstore and Direct Clutch Services. Jay Kennedy in the host chair for round nine of the official series from Twin Ring Motegi. And joining me tonight, as always, Stephen Sandman Clark. G'day, Sandman. G'day, Jay. G'day, everyone. Uh, yeah, great race. Can't believe it's round nine already. Uh, how quickly this championship's slipping away and uh, pearl of a race, uh, Twin Ring Motegi under lights. Yeah, it should be a fantastic one tonight. Really looking forward to this. I do love a good night race when you can still see the cars. It's good fun. Yeah, that's now, right. <laughs> now, as also joining us tonight, our Vets Online Insider, Reese Gardner's here. Reese, evening, Jay. From the pits evening, tonight. Sandman. Evening, everyone. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this race. It's um, it's going to be quite interesting. Night race, cooler temperatures and such. And uh, seems like uh, we're going to have a no pit stop race tonight. And uh, it's going to be mostly focusing on fuel usage. You've, uh, you won't have a lot of work to do tonight, so you'll be kicking back and enjoying this one. Oh yeah, definitely. It's it's going to be it's going to be something just uh, for me to watch, and uh, I I I'd rather have an alcoholic beverage, but I just have a milkshake cup full of water in front of me, so I'm going to have to deal with that. <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> More than good enough. <laughs> so this is the track for tonight. We're on the Twin Ring Matigi East Circuit, so not the full circuit as we've seen in the past. 25 laps, that'll be an 84k race, and the, a tight little track, the, especially the section where you cut between the uh, the full circuit and the short circuit. And as tricky as it is, it's actually uh, quite an interesting um, you know, part of the racetrack. It really does um, make you think about your car setup, and if you, you go in there too hot, you know, you can find yourself quickly off onto the onto the grass, and uh, you know, as we saw a couple of people in qualifying having a real head, red hot go through there, it's easy to get a, a, a cut track penalty through there, but uh, the boys don't want to muck around side by side through there at the start, because that's, uh, that's the slowest option. If you battle too hard side by side at the start, it's going to really hurt someone. But we'll go through the grid as we saw in that last qualifying session. Right at the end, Madison down pulled out an amazing lap time at 120.298. Never thought anyone would get that quick round here this week. Josh Muggleton, P2. Justin Rugger in third. Sean Kelly in fourth. Lee Day in fifth. A few guys missing from this grid notice, which uh, is not a good sign. Matt Nethercote will start in 6th position, Tobias Kearney in 7th, Lee Ellis in 8th, Tony Autridge in 9th, John Latham in 10th, James McKnight in 11th, Leighton Fine, Wayne Tolley, Marlon McMullen, Simon Black, Simone Jelly, Mitch Averill, Scott Gray, Sam Collins, Michael Fabian, Matthew Barron, Joe Oliveira, Richie Stanaway, Marty Atkins and Adrian Stratford. No, uh, no TTL drivers tonight? Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Uh, not not hmm. quite sure what's going on there, but uh, never mind. Maybe they've run out of batteries or something. No batteries for the lights, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but definitely we'll mix up the field tonight. Good to see some new names in the series and some names that we haven't seen for a while as well. Especially guys up near the front that we haven't seen for a long time as well. Yeah, it's, uh, it really has sort of gelled with a couple of people, this, this layout. And it's obviously a little bit different, uh, you know, to get your, your track bearings and everything else when it's under lights. So, um, yeah, it's a nice little mixture, different layout that we're used to. And, uh, yeah, it's certainly got some people's attention. Now, hearing all the excuses now come from the TTL guys. Hello to... Uh, <laughs> John Emerson uh, watching the stream, having a chat. So if you are in the chat, say hello to, to uh, all the guys over there. Make sure you join the chat. Was it a good excuse? Um, I'm not <laughs> going to say. It. It. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. If I, get, if I could get in trouble, or get him in trouble. So if you are lucky enough to be watching the chat, you, you'll be able to see what's going on. <laughs> Just waiting for the uh, 
second flag to come out and we'll get ready to get this race underway. Really looking forward to this one though. I tell you what, it's a little bit frightening for the rest of the field when Madison Down almost goes two tenths quicker in that last qualifying session. Um, so it should be an interesting start, and like you said, uh, it does favour you know the drivers that have been in P2 uh, most of the night. Yeah, that inside, if you can get a good jump from the line, and we know how Madison usually isn't a great starter. He's done it the last two, two or three times I've said that, so it's um, really tough to get, get away. So we will see all the drivers start to grid out. I think one to watch tonight will be Richie Stanaway come through from 23rd on the grid. He'll have his work cut out for him. It is a tricky little racetrack to get the passes done, so it'll be more, more and more difficult as he gets to, uh, up closer to the you know, pointy end of the field. Yeah, the revs are starting to rise. Lights are on. Here we go. Underway. Start from Muggleton. I go on the inside side by side with Nunn. Yeah, get the job done. Yeah. Oh, here comes Justin up inside Madison. Oh, oh not much in it That's a huge one at the back of the field. Massive incident involved in the Honda Simulator Falcons. Not sure what happened there. May have touched the grass, but huge incident involved in maybe five or six cars. Tony Autridge, a little bit too wide. He's pushed it back in front of Leighton Fine. I think that is car 25. Get the replay on screen at the moment. Wow. Yeah, he made hard contact with that uh, inner guardrail and then, uh, yeah, that fired a, a heap of other cars into the incident as well. Unfortunate stuff there for Tony Aldridge and, and the rest of the guys involved. You never want to see that, especially on lap one. Now, looking up the front, Muggleton is away. It's down behind. Buggy are in third, and look at the gap they've already pulled. Yeah, these boys have just uh, worked together, and this, uh, this is pretty much the finishing order in the earlier race. I believe Muggo got the, start, the jump on uh, down into turn one and led from start to finish. And uh, I'll tell you what, if Madison's not careful, uh, Muggo might do the same again in this one. There was one two for tats.com, and then Tobias Kearney actually got a third in the early race tonight. So Tobias is one to watch tonight as well. We had a first casualty officially, which is which is Stanaway. He's out of the race. This is Tony Aldridge. I don't think he'll be able to make it back out. Too much damage to his car. And Collins also looks like he might be having new internet issues. He's going to race Gardner in the pits. Uh, yeah, Jay. Um, that was a manic first lap. I saw it firsthand, and uh, I've been listening in on all the teams as, uh, as as they went around the first lap. Apparently, Marlon McMullen having these massive car problems. He kept saying, "I can't turn the car. I can't turn the car." He couldn't even slow down. So it's been a horror first lap for him and uh, Sean Kelly on his brakes. Um, so yeah, a lot of problems. One of the biggest ones we've seen. It was massive. Must be a full moon, mate. Uh, <laughs> it was a crazy, <laughs> oh, hectic start the, there. The night done it, and <laughs> we could actually see the moon, so they could use that as an excuse. That's what it is. Yeah, I could, I could already hear people saying, uh, "This is a race that we should have started." Minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like there might be a good strategy.
So far things are looking pretty good up front. The two Tats.com cars of uh, Josh Muggleton and Madison Down just slowly starting to open up a little bit of a margin over Justin Ruggier. Last time round it was uh, almost the vicinity of one and a half seconds. So they're not mucking about up front. They're just worried about hitting their marks and just slowly if they can just slowly pull a margin on Justin Ruggier. Now you actually had a bit of a race last night, Sam. Man, how's fuel consumption? Have you got enough to just go all out with full 75 litres or you have yeah. to save a tiny little bit? Nah, plenty in the tank uh, with 75. I believe a couple of people were maybe even going back a click or just, uh, you know, saving a couple of litres there. But um, I ran 75 and still had probably five laps left in the tank at the end of the race. I believe we're already four laps into this race or three laps in. Bring up our gains and losses. Muggleton, of course, gaining the most important position from second to first. John Latham. From uh, P10 up to P5, Marty Atkins from P24 up to 10th. Oh, you love a good incident, don't you? That's, uh, that's always good when you can make some gains like that. Tony Autridge losing 12 positions. Not a good night for him, unfortunately. The battle between Admiral and Knight. I apologise for missing the, uh, the big incident at the start of the race, guys, in our replays. So we will uh, we'll try and bring that to you while we go through our interviews post-race. We'll try and get that up on the screen so you can check out what actually happened at the start there. But that was crazy. Unfortunately, it doesn't take much, you know, especially the cars were all bunched up right at the start. And it was just a, you know, it was way too easy for so many people to get involved, unfortunately, just because everyone was so bunched up. Ellis, John Latham. He's got himself Fourth a bit of a freight train here, hasn't he? Because oh, he's had a bit of a moment there, but he's got himself six seconds behind the leader, so it looks like, unfortunately, he's just holding these guys up here. Latham pretty keen to get the job done. They're all oh. up Oh, it's nice oh. to tell Hey, it goes Nelicote. No, he holds onto it. Nice work. Tobias has only just touched the back of Nelicote, but they hold onto it. Side by side through the next corner, it's not going to work boys. Nice, oh, hold your breath stuff, and Kelly's closing right up behind Kearney. It's actually a nice bit of uh, give and take there for Mrs. Ernie. I don't think he meant that, he just, everyone went in there and uh, everyone checked up and unfortunately just couldn't pull it up in time, touched the back of Nethercoat and uh, nice bit of sportsmanship just uh, sort of gave him the position back. Latham, look at how much pace he's got at the moment. He's just trying to find a spot where he can actually get this move done. Trying a little bit of a different line through the hairpin to maybe get a bit of a uh, bit extra corner exit speed to get a run down this main straight. One thing I noticed last night too, I, I touched on it in qualifying that it, it's not one of the easiest race tracks to pass at. So as long as you can get your oh, here's Kelly up exit inside. speed, Kelly's got a position gain. Yeah, he just made a wire and well done. Yep. <laughs> Back up the front. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's not my good. You wouldn't know these blokes are teammates, would you? They are. <laughs> <laughs> Madison's pretty keen to get the job done on old Mago. Mago will be wanting to make sure he holds his position. He's trying to get this championship as well. It's a nice problem to have, isn't it, when you've got uh, two drivers battling out for the championship and battling oh. out for the race win. I don't want to say what I'm thinking, I'll just <laughs> stay quiet. <but laughs> I wonder if Justin... Multi -21. Oh, all I'm going to tell them is, already been talking multi-21 <laughs> tonight. But what I was going <laughs> uh, to say, is Justin liking this or hating this, seeing those guys up ahead like that? What's happened with Matthew Barron? Just trying to find out what's happened. Looks like he may have got a bit of an off track, maybe. Oops, run wide through uh, through the S's and hasn't done a lot of practice this week, Squizzer, so struggling a little bit. Yeah, just, just go back to a little bit of context on uh, the Matthew Barron thing, guys. Sorry to interrupt. Um, I just uh, heard him and Tim speak, and he uh, he got a cut track penalty, I think. 
got to slow down. Oh, they're not giving up up front. No. Uh, <laughs> Mungo's definitely got his hands full. Uh, Madison's right over the back of him. Have a look at this freight train build up again. Alice has managed to pull away now, but it's right up close in behind. There's smoke up ahead of the guys there. This is Alice in fourth, Latham in fifth, Nethercote in sixth, Zerny in seventh, Kelly in eighth, and Lee Day in ninth position. Six car freight train battling for what could be potentially the podium, the way that Muggo and Madison are battling. <laughs> There we go, I actually said it. Sorry guys. <laughs> I'm in trouble now. Yeah, it didn't wasn't me, so that's alright. No, uh, well, it's your teammate, so you wouldn't be game to say. <laughs> that's right. So a seven laps in. Go back to the front. Three tenths of a sep second separating these guys. And three drivers at the front. Dustin, Josh, Madison. The only guys to get into the one minute twenty ones and race pace which is six tenths of a second quicker than anyone else, else in the field on this uh, this race pace. That's interesting, even though those guys are having a red hot go up front, Muggles in a down battle in the way, they're still able to bump that margin over Ruggier. That gap is almost two and a half seconds now, last lap round. Interesting their information from the director. Pats.com cars using all four wheels under brakes, all four wheels with brake low and the other guys using two, so interesting there. It does come down to uh, driver preference. I know that um, you know, I get a lot of uh, set up information through Madison down through TTR and all the rest of it. And I know he does like to run a lot more uh, rear brake than I do. I tend to wind mine a lot more forward than he does. So I think it just comes down to driver preference. Adrian Stratford's also left the race now. He's hadn't done any practice before tonight, so he's decided it's too hard and I'm out of here. from this is battle with Lee Ellis and John Latham. You can see uh, there's Latham, Nethercote, Kelly, uh, Cerny, uh, they're all there ready to pounce. Cool. If, uh, and right behind, sorry, um, Lee Day, James McKnight, those guys almost come together into turn one. Oh, Lee Day actually ran off the track there. Marty Atkins now has gained 15 positions in this race. Up into ninth. <laughs> You'd be stoked with that, wouldn't you? Oh, no qualifying time. Just start from the back of the field, avoid all the contact, and you find yourself in the top ten. Interesting. Just uh, I was going to look at the time sheets, but you don't have to visually. Well, looks like uh, Muggleton's just slowly opening up that margin to Madison down. Yeah, to half a second at the line there, so two tenth gain from Muggo. Madison's back out into the one minute 22s, and Muggleton's still in the very high 121s. Last up around 121987. Sean Kelly trying to get a move done here on Matt Nethercote. Matt doing a really good job to maintain this position. Latham's managed to pull a bit of a gap on Nethercote. Now, uh, sort of settled the, the battle down a little at the moment. I'm not sure how different uh, Lee Ellis's car is from, from mine last night, but I did notice with mine that sort of my car was really good at the start and then sort of faded off maybe five, six laps into it and then as about uh, 10, 
lap 10, lap 15, it really came on strong again. So maybe that's what we're, we're seeing from Lee Ellis. He was a little bit quicker than Latham last time round, but as you can see on screen, that Latham's really started to close that margin up again back to Lee Ellis. So hopefully, if he can just get through that phase, if, if he's running the same setup, he will sort of get a bit more pace as the laps go on. Now look back up the front. It's back on again, last lap around. Madison down, gained one and a half tenths back, so it's on again. Oh, he's right there too, he's got a draft. Will he look up the inside here, or will Muggo just give him some room? No, Muggo says no buddy, you might be team boss, but uh, you got to earn it. You know what, this will really shake up the championship too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really having a red hot go. This is great to watch. That's commitment. <laughs> a little bit nerve wracking when you're a, a team member, but uh, it's good to watch. I don't know if Madison would like to see that ahead of him because if I go spin, there's a chance he'll take Madison out too. Great view looking back. Oh, that was close. That was a little too close. <laughs> The one thing they've got working in their favour, obviously their teammates, they'll be on comms to each other, so they'll be talking and uh, they'll know if, if Madison started running a little bit too deep, oh, he's going to have another look here, not quite. So if he does, you know, if Madison notices he's starting to have a moment, he will uh, let Muggo know and Muggo will sort of be able to open up the steering or, you know, just hopefully if there is a bit of a drama there, Muggo will have a better chance of avoiding it just because they're able to communicate together. But um, there's nothing left on the table. They're both having a red hot go here at the Tats.com. Confirmed. Now have a look at, see if we can go back a little bit, go back to the battle for P6 and 7. That Nethercoat, he's going to be starting to worry about that rear bumper. Oh. Sean Kelly, look at how sideways he was there. <laughs> Kelly's trying right to get rear. this move done. Oh, wouldn't want to be any tire on oh. this car. Look at locked up again. Because he knows, Kelly knows that uh, if he can get the job done on Nethercote, you know, he's within, you know, a stone throw of fourth position right there with Lee Ellis. So Ellis, Latham, Nethercote, Kelly, and then Cizerni's right there. So any of these guys have a bit of a moment, you're going to have a huge game. There's something happening James McKnight. James McKnight's got big damage to the front of his car. Not sure what's happened there. Strange incident. Looks like he's just he's he's gone straight, he's gone straight ahead. Something's happened to his computer. He hasn't stopped. And yeah, dead set straight on. Yep. You notice there's no brake lights come on at the rear of the car. He just goes straight ahead into the fence. That was a weird one. That's almost like a power failure on a wheel or something. He's actually having trouble even leaving the session you notice the wheels turning in the car is just rolling off in the dirt and so unlucky for uh, James McKnight that's a strange one that one back to fourth and fifth Lee Ellis John Latham this has been a good battle to watch this race yeah, Leo's definitely got his uh, work cut out for him, and he has from the drop of the green flag. Um, but he's done everything right so far. He's, uh, oh, Latham's oh, run Latham's a little bit wide there. Nethercoat, we're trying to take advantage. Looks like Nethercoat's... Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kelly's really right there. Kelly looks like he's got a little bit more speed. Here we go, yeah, Kelly's... Turn. He's going to have a look on the inside. Oh, he's yeah. late on the brakes too. There's the move done. Nice work. That all came from corner exit speed. He had a great run on the exit. He got the job done. Well done. Madison was looking like he might have a bit of a move down the front straight into turn one. Pulled out. But Madison wants his move done. Oh. <laughs> Look at how sideways Matt is on exit. We're over halfway through this race now. And just watching all this unfold ahead of him, Justin Rugger, P3. Nothing's quite gone his way this season. 
<laughs> we've, uh, we've, yeah, we've joked about the curse <laughs> that he may be uh, experiencing this season, but I'm not going to touch on it anymore. But uh, no. uh, yeah, he, I bet no doubt he's just he's oh. driving along, just uh, hoping that these boys come together in front of him. <laughs> that was close between Madison and Margo. Matt almost into the back. Oh. Margo. Oh, and again. How late on the brakes is Madison down? There's actually a bit of contact now between the guys. You can see damage on the back of Josh Muggleton's car. Yeah, as good as the racing is, the last thing that these guys want is a is a coming together. That's obviously the golden rule in any team sport, is um, to give it your absolute best, but the last thing you want is to any comings together. So oh. they're both having a red hot go. Madison's right there, not giving Muggo an inch. See the damage? Oh, look at the damage on the back of Muggo's car as it come up close. Go back to this battle between Lee Ellis and John Latham. We have to keep coming back to this because it's so close and so good to watch. Look at Kelly's now right on the back of Latham. Back in the pack, just as he come through the exit of the turn, there got on the on the throttle. A little bit loose, a little bit scary. Ah, loose is far too, mate. Oh, <laughs> is that, is that uh, Latham? Latham had a bit of a moment, ran wide a little bit there oh. too. And now that's Kelly, right, Sean, up Kelly right there. Got a race gardener in the pits. Uh, yeah, guys, I've been um, watching the uh, Ellis Latham Kelly Netherkin battle very intently over these last few laps. And I can tell you one thing um, listening in on the Lazy Man Racing team speak, um, uh, Kelly and Latham, both members of that team, as Latham closes up to Kelly, uh, closes up to Lee Ellis again, um, their team speak is dead quiet when saying a word. Unusual, it's usually the most vocal over there, so. Thanks, Therese. <laughs> Boys' concentration levels going through the roof. They haven't got time to talk. <laughs> go back to this battle for the front. It's two tenths of a second. Still separating these guys. Ten to go now. Oh. <laughs> the one thing I do find interesting that... that um, uh, Muggo sort of uh, worked on his oh. own setup. Oh, he hasn't got a very good run out of here. Looks like Down may have got the extra run here. He's going to have a look on the outside. Won't be much room there for him. He's going to have a look though. He's going to go right around the outside. Can he try the crossover and get the power down? No. no. Oh. I'll tell you what, he might actually have a run here. He's got some good speed coming out of that corner. Oh. He might actually get an advantage. No. So what I was touching on is that um, these guys have actually got different setups in their car. Normally, oh, it's a mistake from Matt. Yeah, it cost him too much. Sorry, Sam, go. No, I was just saying that um, Mogo did decide to make a couple of different setup changes to consider what uh, Madison was running. And then I think at the moment it's starting to pay off for him. But um, probably out of the two, Madison is, is looking probably the pace here at the moment. Matt Nethercoat may have made a bit of a mistake. I'm sure he's fallen a little bit off the pace from Alice Latham and Kelly. And now it's Danny right on his tail. Go back in the pack a bit further because I haven't talked a lot about back in the pack. Matthew Barron with Wayne Tolly jumping all over the screen. He's having lots of internet issues. Latham, he's lost a spot, he's actually run off, run off the track. Yeah, he just went in a little bit, don't run wide, and oh, he's gone through oh. the grass and the gravel there and rejoined the racetrack, but unfortunately he's given up a couple of spots. Now Sean Kelly will move to P5, Matt there, the coat P6, 
Latham now back to P7. He was looking like he might possibly get a t It's cost him. It's actually spread the field a little now. Nethercoat, though, with Latham right up behind, do have to really work hard to maintain this spot. Yeah, I think... The interesting bit for Latham is that we were just touching on that Nethercoat cool. was just starting to probably drop back a little bit from the group. So now uh, Latham really has to concentrate on getting past Nethercoat because he doesn't want to be held up. Oh, Wayne Tolly! Oh. Wayne Tolly, oh, almost a touch up there from Matty Barron and Wayne Tolly. A few internet issues making it a bit hard for Barron ahead. All these car moves all over the track where. Yeah, the computer and the internet guesses where Tully's car is. Makes it a little bit hard to race against. We go back to the front though. So seven laps to go now when these guys cross the line. Muggleton from his teammate, team boss, Madison down. Get the feeling that Matt's just gonna throw it in there very soon. <laughs> oh. He's never wanted to give away a race win. He never wants to right. slip away, especially to his teammate. But it's a, it's a real red hot battle. Really great to watch. Tell you what, any other drivers? Oh, it's Matt Mega sideways. There would have been contact a long time ago that would have ended the race between a lot of drivers. There's probably three drivers in the field that you'd expect to have this close a race for the entire race. Two of them putting on a great show for us tonight. Sean Kelly right up behind Lee Ellis again. Almost a touch. <laughs> he's having a red hot go. Looks like he's getting the power down nice and well, Sean Kelly. So I don't know if Lee Ellis is struggling with tyres there, but um, Kelly really well, the pace of the two. Latham's been spun around. Side by side contact with Tobias Burney. Tobias had the inside line and got oh. it a little bit loose. There's a little bit of lag contact between Latham and Cerny. Sasuni's so jumped in there and got sideways and the rear's just kicked Latham, I think, unfortunately, and Latham's gone round. Here's Kelly! Oh, Kelly's in defence! Sure, Kelly's been pushed a little bit wide into the pit wall fence and that is Kelly's not done! Have another look at that. Kelly, good move up the inside on Alice. Oh, looks like Alice has grabbed a gear and it's kicked sideways and that's punched Kelly straight into the wall. That was a real weird one. Unlucky there for Sean Kelly, who was up for a really good finish tonight. What a move, what a race this has been for Marty Atkins. He's now up to P7, 24th to 7. That's amazing. So, look at the gains and losses in this race so far. Lealus, four spots. Marty Atkins, 17 spot gain. Abril and Gray, seven each. With Barron, eight gains, eight spot gain. Sean Kelly, 12 spot loss, unfortunately after that. Mortridge and final, so double figures. That was very unlucky for Sean Kelly. So we go back to the front. Do you want the lap slowly ticking away as they start lap 21 of 25. It's Josh Muggleton leading over teammate and team boss. Madison down, Justin Ruggie in third, Lee Ellis in fourth, Matthew Nethercoat in fifth, Tobias is in sixth, Marty Atkins in seventh, John Latham in 8th, Lee Day in 9th, and Mitch Abrell running out in top 10. Mitch Abrell, Lee Day, they're actually having a pretty good battle. Abrell having a bit of a look up the inside of Day. He's really starting to harass the back of that vest. So we got the Ingrid Falcon, looks like he's just struggling maybe a little bit there with uh, rear grip. Lee Day. Go back to the front. Madison Downs right back on the tail. Josh Michaelson oh. again and just pulls it up. 
Hicks Jim, they're both trying to fight for that uh, that exit speed. Uh, Madison knows if he can just get down the on the power just a little bit sooner, he'll carry that speed all the way down the straight. Madison trying to get a little bit different line through the um, the final corner, through that final hairpin to try and get a really good drive with four laps to go now. There's not much time left for him to make this move. This is a really good view actually from the, the chopper cam. It'll give you some sort of perspective about where these guys are positioned in their car. You'll see that uh, maybe a shallow line compared to some corners. Looks like pretty much the line of stern through here. Here Wayne Tully's just maybe. disappeared. Yeah. Error, de error detected on network device. I don't know what that means. That's a weird. I've never seen that come up on the screen before for a no, drive. No, we did say that he was to struggle a little bit with his, um, maybe his net or something. But we don't yep. know what that code is, unfortunately. Either way, Wayne Tully's had some sort of mechanical incident and he's back in the pits. And lost always half the fuel in this race. Quick look at Marlon McMullen, he was big, big involvement in that uh, first lap incident. He actually was in the pits for 11 minutes, so he's got all his repairs done. He's back out there, lapping around five laps down, and he's going to gain a couple more spots if he just sticks out there. Oh, you can see Madison really deep under brakes, really harassing the back of, uh, of Muggo, but you'd expect that, and that's exactly what the boys would... Uh, would want. They're both having a red hot go. They're flying the flag for TTR and of course Tats.com. And uh, geez, you're not mucking about. Oh, oh. Madison way off in the grass. They're not going to find any traction there, mate. Not quite sure, but uh, this might be one of the uh, the closest nose to tail races we've had for first and second uh, all race long, probably most of the season. I don't know that we've had one like this for the season. I don't think we've had one like this for a few seasons. Oh, oh, oh a little bit of a touch! He came in, got awfully close to the back of the Falcon. That was a little bit of a hurry up. Come on, if you want this win, you've got to earn it. Oh, a little bit sideways here, Mungo. Oh, he can get Mungo. the power down while Madison down pants. Oh, no, he's, he's pushing him down the he's straight. He's going to go to the outside now. If he wants it, he's going to have to go the long way around. Muggleton didn't get a very good run out of that turn. Now it's Madison down there side by side going into turn one. Muggleton will hold on. Will Madison over under? No, he won't be able to. Good use of the alternate line there from Muggleton. Oh, you're not wrong. You just saw that he just got a little bit sideways on corner exit and that gave Madison down the run he needed but unfortunately didn't quite get the car position that he needed. Thinking back, Sam, I think the last time we saw a race like this might have been Zanvoort last season, John Emerson, Justin Ruggio. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. Try and remember. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of anything where, we're, where anything's been as close as this except for that one, maybe. Hello to Mr. Emerson who is watching. Wayne Tully's managed to get himself back out on the track. Unlucky there, Wayne Tully's going to come back out with Matthew Barron again, so they're going to continue their battle, albeit a couple of laps down. There we go, into the final hairpin. Oh, Madison They'll get the white flag as they cross the line. And will this be enough of a gap for Muggleton? It's been enough for 24 laps. Will it be enough for 25? White flag now, last lap. Yeah, that gap will be uh, quite handy for Muggo because Madison really struggled on exit uh, coming onto the front straight, but slowly starts to cut that margin back again. This part of the track here, the first couple of chicanes, this is where Madison's been really strong. He's already got that gap closed up to a couple of car lengths. Oh, I've got to be careful. Muggo doesn't want to get a cut track through there. Oh, oh that is a moment for down. Sideways on the exit there. Touch the grass, but holds onto it. Madison knew 
losing all of those tyres. There's nothing left. You've got to think Muggo's pretty safe now. He's got a couple of car lengths lead on, uh, on Madison down. That's all he needs. Just needs to hit his marks now. Not worry too much about the rearview mirror. It's been like this all race from the drop of the green flag. Muggleton had the jump at the start, had the run to the inside line and got down at turn one and he hasn't looked back since. These guys have been nose to tail for 25 laps and it's an inter-team battle which is going to go right down to the wire for the guys at TTR. Yeah, great drive from both these guys. Looks like tonight Muggleton will get the race win. He's not pulling over to let Madison through to get the win, is he? Formation <laughs> finish. finish. <laughs> Formation <laughs> for finish. Nice great job. drive from Josh Muggleton. Picks up the win from Madison down P2. Justin Ruggie across us for third. It's settled at the back for those lower positions. Lee Ellis will hold on for fourth. There will be a lot of talk after the race, no doubt, about the incident between Alice and Kelly. Matt Nethercote, great drive for P5. Tobias Gurney in 6th position. Marty Atkins, a 17th position gain. He'll finish in P7 from starting 24th. You've got to be happy with that. Don Latham crosses for 8th position. Lee Day in 9th. Mitch Abrell in 10th position. Scott Gray will cross for 11th position. Matthew Barron's actually got a bit of a battle on right at the end here between he, Simone Jelly, and Simon Black. Looks like it will finish in that order. So Barron will finish 12th, Jelly in 13th, Black in 14th. They're the last drivers on the lead lap. Wayne Tolley will be the last driver to cross the line. Marlon McMullen crossing now in P17. Holly crosses for 15th. Go back to Muggleton. He'll enjoy this. He'll be one happy man when he comes and talks to us very, very soon. You're not wrong. Uh, brilliant effort from both uh, Tats.com Falcons. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better result. The boys finishing 1 2, qualified 1 2, and uh, yeah, Muggleton will be absolutely stoked. Tell how stoked he is. They're going over to talk to the flag man. Apparently, he was in trouble last week for not handing over the flag. So, but uh, some good victory donuts. Well deserved for Muggo. He's worked hard this season, hasn't been able to get that win, but finally breaks that bubble tonight. One, two, four for TTR. Yeah, brilliant result for TTR boys. Uh, they've done their homework through the week and it's really paid off. Uh, well done to Lee Ellis for holding his nerve too. He had a lot of pressure there throughout the race. Uh, had quite the freight train there, but he did everything right and uh, brought it home. So well done to everyone at TTR Hype Simulator and of course the boys at Tats.com. Go through the results. Josh Muggleton picking up the win, led all 25 laps, posted the fastest time of the race. Managed to hold on to four first from his teammate, Madison down. Dustin Ruggier finishes in third. Lee Ellis in fourth, Matt Nethercote in fifth position. Great drive from him. Tobias Cerny in sixth position. Marty Atkins seventh, John Latham in eighth. Unlucky night for him. Lee Day in ninth position. Mitch Abrell in tenth. Scott Gray in eleventh. Matt Barron in twelfth position. Simone Jelly in thirteenth. Simon Black fourteenth. Wayne Tolley in fifteenth. Sean Kelly, Marlon McMullen, James McKnight, Adrian Stratford, Yo Oliveira. Sam Collins, Tony Ortridge, Leighton Fine, Michael Fabian, and Richie Stanaway. We had four guys out in that first lap incident, massive one. And a couple of guys drop out not long after it. That was one interesting race tonight. Don't forget, uh, stick around too. We'll try and get uh, the vision of that incident uh, between, uh, who was it? That was uh, Wayne Everyone. Holly. No, Tony Ortridge, <laughs> sorry. Tony Autridge and, and Leighton Fine, they all started it and unfortunately everyone else got involved. So, yeah, we'll bring those pictures to you as soon as we can get them. I might go to one of the men involved in that massive white one incident, Marlon McMullen. Unlucky night tonight, mate. But you managed to get out there and gain some spots back at the end? Yeah, I mean, um, I, I don't even know what happened. I've, I've just gone over the footage and uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It's one of those things you know where to go. Uh, we just got lap one up on screen now, so try and run through it. The guys at home haven't actually had a 
chance to look at it yet. So, but um, massive incident. We sort of hadn't seen a big one like that at lap one for a long time. Um, a few races earlier, I've seen a few guys have a few problems coming out of that corner. I mean, the fact that it's a very tight corner, usually um, the nature of it's a one man in the other corner. And unfortunately, you know, if you run off a little bit wide, which I think uh, one of the TDR cars did, they run onto the grass and, um, you know, eventually just all started with the wheel trying to fight for the same wheel run. Being there scary bit is when uh, Lake, Lake just uh, came straight to the middle of the racetrack and cleaned up another number of cars and that's what uh, made it a lot bigger. So, and pretty much like you said, uh, it's, you're, you're sitting duck because the start of the race, everyone's bunched up so much and uh, you're pretty much just a passenger when something that big happens. No, that's unfortunately, you know, at lap one, we all bunched up pretty tight together and, you know, unfortunately, a tight track like that, especially that segment of the area with the uh, walls up, yeah, it just was bound to happen eventually, so. <laughs> Unlucky, mate, we've got some pretty good vision on screen of the actual incident. We might go, though, to pretty excited, man. We'll go to Muggo, Josh Muggleton. Congratulations, mate. Great win tonight. Oh, thank you. That was the hardest race I've ever done. I am spent. <laughs> Yeah, mate, your teammate wasn't giving you, uh, cutting you any slack there, mate. Uh, it was you and Madison from uh, start to finish, nose to tail. Yeah. I'm, no, I didn't expect him to cut me any slack either, and I don't think we were separated for more than half a second the whole race. So he pushed me the whole way, and there was no team orders or anything. And, yeah, he, um, he made me earn it, that's for sure. Are you the most exhausted you've ever been after a race? Uh, apart from the Phillip Island 500, yeah, I am, yeah, pretty spent. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good drive, mate. Now, how tough was it with the headlights behind you as opposed to just normal car? Did that make a big difference? Um, it did when there were lots of cars around. My my computer was um, showing a few funny flashes and colours and stuff. Once we cleared out from them, it was it was all right. Um, but yeah, I think that's just the um, just the nature of night racing. With um with PCs, but no, it, um it was it was good, it was fine. I didn't have any problem with it. Okay, Madison down. Great drive for second. Not quite enough to get there, mate. Yeah, not quite in the end. Muggo just got me off the start there and um didn't look back. But as he said, I wasn't ever going to make it easy. We had a pretty close race in the first race tonight as well, and um, we had a big discussion about team orders and you know that stuff not existing in TTR. So um yeah yeah. We definitely pushed each other all the way that one. He, he didn't make many mistakes. He made a few, but he didn't give me a, um opportunity. So um, great drive to Muggo and uh, awesome to get a tats.com one too. Mate, it's sensational watch. I know everyone was on the edge of their seat just watching you guys having a red hot go, but I don't know if anyone was more nervous than myself having a, a teammate sitting there watching uh, you guys battle it out. It was really good to watch. Yeah, into the final corner and one of the laps actually out broke myself and just sent a punch the rear of his car and got him all out of shape. So, um, yeah, that was a little bit exciting. I think that, that would have showed everyone that, uh, you know, we weren't just going nose to tail, not fighting. It was definitely uh, some sheep stations on the line in that one. It was pretty good fun. Okay, Justin Ruggie, not quite enough tonight, mate. Probably a little bit of, comes down to a little bit of lack of practice, I guess, tonight, but good drive for third. Yeah, I was pretty happy with my performance. Actually, I was stuck in uh, third gear the whole race. So, to finish uh, <laughs> six seconds behind them, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, actually. No, um, yeah, no, I struggled big time, mate. I um, I had an opportunity, uh, yeah, the first two corners to probably stick my nose in and, you know, uh, be a bit unsportsmanlike the Madison. But, yeah, I, uh, I thought maybe I might be able to hang in. But uh, after that race, check my tyres, yeah. Just absolutely chewed the rears and yeah, just lack of lack of testing, mate. That's what it really is. But congratulations to to Muggo and Madison for having a close battle. And uh, yeah, it's great to see someone else win and great to see Josh win. It was fantastic. How'd you find the adjusting to to night racing, mate? Was it was it a big adjustment for you or it wasn't too bad? Well, I was telling the boys um, yesterday when I got home from work that. I don't know, for some reason, maybe the lights, it doesn't really light up the track, but apparently all the boys are saying that it's sort of similar for them. But yeah, it took a while to adjust, yeah, for sure. Now, next week, Barbara, if you, I know you've raced there before. Do you uh looking forward to next week? 
Yeah, I am, but I just still haven't got the answers <laughs> to uh, to jump these guys at the moment. So uh, I'll just keep trying, man. Just keep banking these points on you. Sort of third place is going to be the worst result I was going to get, and yeah, I was happy to uh, if they had a touch and happy to clean up after after the mess, but that didn't happen unfortunately. <laughs> and uh, looked close a couple of times. I thought maybe they might send each other off the track, but. Yeah, I, I couldn't get into their team team speak to tell them to, to hit each other off the track, but no, I'm looking forward to looking forward to next week. We might go to Lee Alice next, Lee fourth tonight, but probably not the way you wanted to get it. No, well, starting off was good. I thought I got a great start, um, and unlucky with Sean at the start of the race, and then yeah, I drove in a little bit too deep into the last turn, got a bit of wheel spin, then tapped by Sean. And then the car wouldn't grip, and Sean was actually just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Got sideways, and yeah, I feel I feel really bad. So if he's listening, I'm very, 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 very sorry. So no, yeah, no intent was that. No malice. But you had your work cut out for you at the start. It was quite a freight train there with Latham and and everyone else involved there. Um, you had your work cut out for you, but um, once you sort of started to settle down, you you did sort of. Um, sort of have things go your own way, and it was a good result there at the end for for TTR having um, uh, three TTR cars in the top four. Yeah, you're not wrong. TTR definitely going strong this season. Like, I was a bit unlucky a few stages in turn two. I got a few slow slow downs, but yeah, it was um, a good race. I had fun. I was hoping Justin would do a, another spin and I could get third, but unlucky. We might go next, we might go to Tobias next. Tobias, good night for the early race tonight. Not quite as good, but you did a great job to avoid that big crash. Yeah, hi guys. Um, I would say when I look at the replay that I might call, oh, my connection might have caused the big crash as I, as I avoided uh, the guy in front of me, but uh, somehow his car got uh, clipped and turned around, then all chaos happened behind me in first lap. So How did you find the feeling... night race? Sorry, mate. Yeah, I want to say I'm not feeling that way about this. <laughs> really sorry. How did you feel about night racing, mate? Uh, a little bit different to what we're used to in the V8s. It's been a little while since we've been night racing, but uh, how was it from your seat? It's very difficult, especially uh, when it's um, not night outside here. So I have uh, sunshine and I cannot darken the room so much. So it's sometimes really difficult when the weather outside is changing and it's getting more brighter inside then I see less on the screen and um, yeah it's really difficult to concentrate over this even if it's a short lap distance but it's really difficult to concentrate over these 25 laps at night to get the brake markers right but it was it, definitely interesting now yeah, just for the guys watching at home few people wanting to know where you're actually from so whereabouts are you to us um, I'm from Germany and I'm, it's now Brought past one, high noon. <laughs> oh, good stuff tonight, mate. You did you did a great job tonight. Yeah, we might also go to Matthew Barron's quiz. Not much practice tonight, mate. You finally actually did a race, though. Yeah, I didn't really practice. Started the back, managed to stay on the outside in the turn one, missed the spinner, and then missed the crash on the next little straight there, and ended up twelfth in the end. So it wasn't too bad. Is that, is that your plan now for the season? Just rock up, no practice, and hope that everyone crashes ahead, or? Well, that's what happened at VAR, and I nearly got a top 10 there, so I think that might be the plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, <clears throat> sorry, so, now, as we said, next week we are off to Barber. I know a lot of guys would never have raced there before. Some guys would have raced there in Grand Am. We'd know we did a hosted race in the V8 there a little while ago. Thoughts on Barber? We'll start with you, Margo. Uh, never driven a lap there. <laughs> And I don't own it, and I'm away in Melbourne till Sunday night, so next week's going to be tough. <laughs> You're probably better off staying there till Tuesday, mate, <laughs> probably. I don't know if it's going to make a difference if I come back or not. It's going to be all uphill. Yeah, there's probably good things happening in Melbourne, mate. You just stay there till Tuesday. <laughs> what about you, Matt? Yeah, well, I've the track. Been trying to get it on the calendar for a while, and it's good good we finally got it there i've only ever driven the formula one car and the riley prototype there so never driven there in a touring car or anything like that only ever high down for so it's going to be bloody interesting <laughs> squizzer what about yourself 
Oh, look at the Grand Am there. I think the Grand Am said this is this week, so yep. I might get a little bit of a head start on the track, so it won't be too bad. What about you, Lay? Uh, never. I don't know. All I know is it's got a weird looking, weird looking statue out front. So that that'd be a spider, mate. Yeah, is that what it is? It's <laughs> a spider. And Tobias, I met you at Barber. Yeah, I did actually a few laps, so I know I know what corners are coming. But uh, always the last part of the track surprised me every lap. So it's I don't know. It will be very interesting. There are a lot of uh, nasty bumps. And Justin, I think the last time we raced there, you actually did you win there, or was it Shane that won there? I can't remember, man. We've done that many races. <laughs> oh, all I can remember is sure. you coming up and giving me a big shunt to get me out of the way when you're laughing me. That's all I remember. <laughs> oh, well, I might have won then. <laughs> <laughs> it was either you or Shane. You two were close together. I can't remember. You must have been ignoring me on the chat, mate. <laughs> I was having my own battle. And you, just, <laughs> you just come in and push me out of the way. It was a good move for you. Oh, it's all right. It was good fun. All right, well, that I guess wraps it up. Thanks heaps again, Sam, man. Mate, sensational race, absolutely dominating performance from the Tats.com boys and uh, TTR and all. Uh, four cars in the, uh, sorry, three cars in the top four. Uh, brilliant job uh, from Muggo and Madison. Uh, really put the pressure on each other all night. And uh, mate, bring on Barber's Motorsport Park. I'm really looking forward to it. 25 laps, and another sprint round. Can't wait. Reese, thanks again for all your hard work in the pits. No problem, guys. It was a really fun race. Lots of stuff to talk about, and I'm looking forward to Barber. Cannot wait either. Thanks all you drivers for joining us after the race too. Great drive tonight, guys. Very, very, very great to watch. Cheers, guys. Thanks, guys. Cheers. We've been watching round nine of the iRacing.com V8 Supercar official online series. Proudly presented by V8 Supercars fan group, V8's online superstore and direct clutch services. Your winner, Josh Muggleton.